and the Honorable Aseka, the Member of Parliament for Kisero, Tigeni Makofi. I've also seen the former Member of Parliament for Odaya, Mashimu Amere Wambui. Your Excellency, let me, on behalf of our church, thank you most sincerely for creating time to come for this very important event in the PCA calendar, the General Assembly and the inauguration of the moderator. Your Excellency, when the church leadership sent me to you and I came and communicated the request from the church leadership without hesitation, you directed that the matter be put in your diary and you said you will be here and you will keep time and for sure you are here at 10 a.m. Na inaonekana umelewa sisi ni watu ya mutaratara. So wabu yokuweka masa ni mamu muhimu sana katika kanisa hili. Your Excellency, let me also in a very special way thank you for the enormous contribution that you have made in your leadership to this church. Indeed, you have been to most of our churches across the country where you have not only attended service but participated in development activities, purchasing of buses, building sanctuaries, and supporting our church in a very strong manner. We don't take it for granted. We appreciate your enormous contribution to this church. And now that you did that before you became president, now that you are president and you have a bigger uh, mandate, uh, a bit large uh, facilitation, please continue supporting our church. And uh, you are always welcome to this church at any one time. Your Excellency, most of our members, indeed, the greatest percentage, we prayed for you. And it's true, we also turned up early to cast a vote in your favor. And uh, I want to say before my church that that decision we made, we have no regret because in a record one and a half years, despite the fact that you found many challenges in this country. You have turned around our economy and the economy has started showing great signs of recovery. The shilling has gained strength against the dollar. Fuel prices are coming down. Cost of unga has come down and we are making significant progress. Ours as a church is to continue praying for you, is to continue supporting you. And it is good that uh, I give an example to this church as to where the president is coming from. When he took over, he found a country deep into debt. And he had to take time to sort out the debt issues before he can begin real tangible development. Let me give the example of a parish that has a huge arrears in SES. You know if you are a parish minister and the headquarters withdrew the parish minister because of non-payment of sex. And you are posted there. The first thing you do before you can begin any development in that parish is to figure out how to pay the sex. That is, I want to give you a very real example. That is the situation the president found in this country. Last month, I began to say, Kwanza. Do you answer Kupanga, Kujenga, Vestri? Zindio. How he shall put tiles in the church and how we, how we even pay the parish minister. Last month, Kwanza, to deep assess, Kabula, Kulipa, Mushara, parish minister. So, moderator, with due respect, I've had you as the president to waive some of the taxes, scrap some. At a way, he says, Angalia. Si moda ni nadia naitisi ya sese. Si niya naitisi ya sese. So hata wewe, unajua hile mikakati umeka hatu walipe sese. So even as you are asking the president na angalia, hata wewe angalia hii mambo ya sese. Ime tuanga hii sasa na siku mingi. Your Excellency, before I invite you, 
to address these good people. We had a very candid discussion with our moderator. As leaders, as members of this church, because we want to submit to his authority and we want to be good members. And we told him and his team to tell us where we have gone wrong. And he did. And for that we apologized. We also told our leadership that during the last campaign, at the higher levels they were a little bit tight on us. Because even ourselves as members, we were denied an opportunity to speak in church despite the fact that we are known to be of good behavior. <laughs> so we did request the moderator and we are now requesting the General Assembly. If in future you make rules that political leaders should not speak in church, we the members should be exempted. Because we are responsible people and we come in our capacity as, as members. We were quite unhappy that we were denied an opportunity to build a church in Berere PCA Church. We were quite unhappy because nobody should be denied an opportunity to build the Church of Christ. No matter what political happenings are going on in the country. And when we were there with the then Deputy President, we could not be allowed to go and build that church. Your Excellency, during our meeting, the leaders who are here committed as a way of correcting that matter. All the people who are here, we shall raise funds to build that church to completion. And we shall invite you for the consecration ceremony so that whatever you had wanted to do that day, you can come in and do it. But we have a new beginning and we are very happy. And we have said, moderator, we are available. Our doors are open, you are your members. Please give us instructions what you want us to do. The Honorable Alice Wahome already has instructions from the moderator to process title deeds for our churches. So whatever else you want us to do, we shall do. Finally, Your Excellency, let me take this opportunity to ask the parish ministers who are here and the elders as they go back home to join the president and the government in the war against drugs and substance abuse. <laughs> the president, in his wisdom and being a devout Christian, has given very clear instructions to the rest of us who work under him that he cannot agree when he is president our children to be killed by poison disguised as alcohol. That war is on from our end. But we cannot win it alone. We want the support of our PCA church. We want you to help to mentor our young people and to counsel them as well. And where you can to join the government in creating rehabilitation centers so that we can save our dying population. Your Excellency, these ministers will tell you, there is no home that is not affected. Even their own homes are affected. True or false? These parish ministers have buried many people. There is no home where PCA churches are that you don't have a fresh grave of our young people. And therefore, I request you Please join the president and I and the rest of us in this war. Give it, give it impetus. Talk about it. Support us and also help us in oversight. Where you find our officers are not doing the right thing through the parish ministers, we are there. Let us get that information. And Your Excellency, it is a real crisis. I know this people know. The Reverend Leon Degwa came to my home to bury my brother. Dr. Wachira, who died because of alcohol. The Reverend Jesse came to bury my other brother because of alcohol. And it's a story everywhere. So as we fight this war, it's not politics. It's a war for our next generation. And we want to ask our church, the PCA church, to lead from the front. Will you help us? Will you help us? 
so rais you ni kualike hii ni kanisa lako kuje you like singing there is that song you used to sing with reverend kanya if you feel like singing today we'll join you dai wa magaganya sindio we'll happily sing with you because we love you and we cherish what you have done for this church the story of our university you are right in the center our facilities in mombasa you are in the center building our churches you have always been there and whenever we have called upon you to come and support us you have always been available and more so for what you are doing for this country in terms of making sure that we have a secure country crime has been controlled everybody is able to go about his or her business so us as a church our work is to pray for you is to support you and is to make sure that we do whatever we can do to join you to succeed so that you can have economic transformation in this country and you can live a better country than you found when your time comes muko tayari tumkaribisha rais si akitaka kuimba aibe tutaimba naye si yako